That is quite the camera angle. Hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough. Time to warp back over to Zora's domain and attempt to get ourselves a reek fish. Now the place the that the reek fish apparently habitat is this is next to these two rocks of different sizes next to the waterfall basin area type of thing and I gotta transform back into a human where I will not be seen apparently hopefully this is far enough yes delightful I don't know how they can see between that you know the coral or rock formations that form the edges but I probably shouldn't question that too much and now we dive well, eventually. What is over here? Oh, there's a blue rupee and a green rupee. Surprisingly, they don't tell me the value of the green rupees. Uh, <laughs> I think those rocks right in the middle of the screen there are what I am looking for. So, let's just... Whoa, geez, I wanted to dive down into it, but whatever. So, I'm going to go over to... Oh, that is... These are the fish I'm looking for right here. See that? That is a reek fish. Let's select the rod and hopefully we'll have some luck. You know how to fish, don't you? I mean, we've already fished before. Come on now. Got it. At least I think I got a reek fish. And you only need, only need one. You'll see why. And its name is a reek fish, and it literally reeks. That is a hint for you to do something with it. So you're going to see it flopping on the ground, right? See that? That is a scent. So, transform into a wolf, and sniff it. Oh, so nauseating. I think I would have preferred the pole scent. <laughs> so, there is the reek fish's scent. Now, ooh, what's this? Now we're going to go back over to Snow Peak. We're gonna transform back into a human though. I, I think I should. Wait, 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 wait! Oh wait, no, that's that's a golden bug. I'm not I'm not doing those yet. I, I thought that was a a pole soul at first, and I was just going to grab it by reaction. Hey, wait, wait, is that something that I can bomb down there? Let's see. Place that there. And let's just see what's underneath there. Ooh! A cornucopia of rupees. Awesome. Oh, I'm at 400 rupees! Why is that important? Because that's about what I. Well, I'm at 401, but I'm just over the 400 mark. But that's. Ex 400 is exactly what I need to pay off that preacher guy back at um, Hyrule Castle. So before I go back into Snow Peak, I think I'm gonna go to Hyrule Castle and pay that guy off and get one of the money side quests over with. So, here we are! Take them! Take all of my rupees! Yeah, I'm going to literally donate all the rupees that I have right now. This could take a little while, unfortunately. <laughs> i just like to show you what happens once he reaches a thousand rupees, because when I came in here he was at 600, and once I give him 400, he'll reach a thousand. And this side quest will be over! Uh, just a little more... Thank you, yes, yes, very good. Now give me my prize! Woo! He wasn't kidding when he said that. <laughs> and since I have five heart pieces, I get a new heart container. That is awesome. Sweet! I will! And now back to Zora's domain where I will go through Snow Peak. And here we are back at Snow Peak. No one is here now, but there is something here. Uh, 
Maybe it's not quite... Yeah, I can't see it just yet, can I? Ah, there it is! This is the Reekfish scent, and is what I am looking for to get through this area. Oh, and I also remembered uh, how, what the logic is on how you're supposed to find the prince. It makes sense that he is going to visit his mom's grave, so that's why you want to go back to Kakariko. So no one, like, really hints at, at, like, directly at it. It's just a matter of logically figuring out that you would want to go over there. And I guess there's hearts there if you want it, but otherwise... I am just going to be jumping across this ice here and following this scent through this very spooky area, I must say. And how is that scent going above? Oh no, I, I guess the, the ice probably moved, but the ice isn't moving while we're here now. Wolfos! Well, white wolfos. Run! They actually aren't that hard, but they're more trouble than they're worth. <laughs> they just keep spawning and it's kind of annoying. Woo! No, wait, wait, why am I... How did I get... Why? I mean, how did I get stuck on the edge there? Hmm, that's kind of weird. Ah, oh, whatever. Just keep following it. Keep following it. Trust the scent. Ow. I just pressed the A button to dash, and I end up hitting the wall somehow. Hello? It goes up. So that means I must go around and then up. I think. <laughs> just keep your senses up, even though you can't see much at one time, and you should find your way through here. And it's going up again. So, whoa, whoa, whoa. There's actually quite a lot to explore here, but I'm just staying most uh, uh, on track for the most part until I do some side questing goodness. Like you see over there, there is a uh, uh, postal. Actually, you know what? I'll get that now. Or it, yeah, that is okay. Why not? <laughs> and one more. Just gotta, you just gotta dive down, you know, where I can get it. Wow, that's a lot of stuff to dig down, you know, where that tree is. <laughs> Delightful! What's, why, why is there so much stuff here? Oh! Wait, I forgot what this was, actually. Maybe this, maybe this was what I was looking for? I don't, <laughs> I don't remember this at all, unless this is just a secret area I've never found before because I was unobservant. Because I'm, I'm pretty sure this isn't the route that I'm supposed to go. Although I am looking for a uh, cave to dig under, but it's, it's near um, a rock, not a tree. Okay. So what, what's the point of coming down here? Is it, is it just for the booty? <laughs> <laughs> Is there something, something around here? I can, I can pick up rock or roll rocks if I wanted to, I suppose. But I don't see anything special. Uh, is unless that's bombable. I don't think that's a bombable rock, though. I'm just gonna try it for the heck of it. It, it doesn't look like a bombable rock, which is why. I'm, oh, it is. Um, let's sense around here. Oh, oh, is it chew? Uh, what what kind of jelly is that actually? I, I think I, I'm too late. <laughs> Dang it. Um, yeah, I I don't know what the point of this room is. <laughs> Maybe it's just a. Uh, bonus room to throw you off track or something like that because it, it looks like I cleared this room pretty well if you ask me just take a look around see if there's anything on the ceiling that I could bomb no so was this a completely pointless room or is it me <laughs> <laughs> all right I should probably get back on track here following the sense of you know what? I'll, I'll explore over here just a little bit, even though it's there's some ice keys, which are kind of annoying more than anything. Okay, I guess there really wasn't much to explore. Maybe I just haven't been down there before because I never really needed to. No, I never really thought about going down there before. Well, aside from the pole, I don't know. Mustn't have paid much attention in my other playthroughs. So, we're still following the scent here, and... How do I get up there? First, chew up those ice keys a little bit. Um, 
What? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm not able to. Oh. Ah, okay. That makes a lot more sense. I just thought I would attempt to attack that wall because that snow looked a little odd. I'm gonna look over here, but I don't think there's really much to look at at this point in time. Yeah, because I can't get up through there. Moving on! And getting back on track. And not touching the wall and making me twitch off to the side. <laughs> Yeah, it looks like the scent is going to loop around. Oh, Howling Stone! Wait, did I? I must have forgot the... Okay, I'm doing terrible at this. Let me let me try this again here. Oh, this one's just a lot more complicated. Mm -hmm. Not close enough, huh? <laughs> there we go. I admit my memory is very, very bad with that. <laughs> but I managed to get it, and now I'm going to have a track to see uh, how it actually looks like. I was having trouble visualizing that, obviously. Oh, wow. Let me try that again. I can't figure out which song this is. It's not sounding familiar. It just might be the horrible wolf howling. <laughs> That's throwing me off. Yeah, I, I can't think of this song at the moment. Well, whatever. I'll probably put up a little boxy box which will tell you or has already told you how or what the song it was. Whee! And the location to this one should be back at Kakariko Village if I remember correctly. Let's see... That is Kakariko, right? Uh, wait, what? Yeah, that's the village, and that- oh, that's the graveyard, okay. So if I were to look at your map, zoom out, see over here, graveyard. If you want to get that, you could go back over there, but no, I'm going to the trail. I wonder why that, uh, uh, well, I'll explain it here. I wonder why he took a detour over to that howling stone and then somehow dug through here. I don't even know how he managed to dig through here, but whatever. <laughs> By the way, that hurts you, so don't uh, let it hurt you. I just wanted to show you that. You wouldn't otherwise know that if you just walked right past that. So I thought I would show that now. Okay. Going to dig up. Hmm. Not all that interesting stuff in here, I have to say. Okay, okay, let's move on. And I need to be human. Ah! Paws are not hands. <sighs> Although I have seen dogs climb ladders before in, like, funny videos. Of, like, America's Funniest Videos or Internet Videos or something like that. Back to a wolf. Oh, wait, wait, should I be transforming into a wolf now? Oh, I guess so. If I can dig for some poop. Although I don't know why anyone would dig for poop, but I know that they would like to dig for rupees. <laughs> oh, come on! Oh, no, 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 no. Not going to... 
have that issue again. <laughs> and I can't climb here as a wolf, can I? Dang it! Maybe I should just stay in human form, although I'm missing the digging spots and otherwise. Boy, I've burned a lot of time in this part. See, I'm at 18 minutes here. And I'm getting close to the next dungeon, too. Ah! Alright. Yeah, I, might, I should probably just show the rest of this. So anyway, the camera, as, as you see, points you over to here, which will give you a nice little warp spot. Well, soon to be a warp spot, but first the battle! With more of these terribly weak shadow beasts. <laughs> Well, they're, at least they're weak to, you know, your wolf form. They look so intimidating, but they, they just have nothing. <laughs> I'd like to kill off the keys. Ow. Dang it. Um, maybe I should have killed the keys ahead of time. I'm gonna do some spin attacks, try and kill them off. Ah, this is proving to be more troublesome than expected. Okay, you come over here. I need to group. There we go. Wait, how did that... How did I not kill that one? Man, this part is just giving me all sorts of trouble for no reasons whatsoever. <laughs> just gonna kill that one off. Now, you, over here, by the other one. Come on, cooperate with me. There we go. I knew you could do it. There we go. Got another warp spot for Andy's warping place later. And for some reason, the blizzard kind of dissipates for some reason. And look at that trail. He's got a reek fish. And this is a yeti. I'm going to transform into a human. He doesn't care. <laughs> you have to be a human to do this little segment here. Oh, I heard ruckus and oh, just a human. I you see humans not often. Oh, why humans come to snows? You on spiritual journey, you look for true self. Um, uh, not really, but I'll say yes, just because he looks like he could hurt me. <laughs> that was joke. It is joke too. Ah, oh, you look for something else. Oh, tell the truth. Yeah, I am looking for something else. So he's gonna show me how to get through this next area here. Oh, you look for a mirror in such far away place. Oh, 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 oh. I think that's supposed to be a laugh or something. Why you not say so before? But you make good climb and you lucky to meet me. I found shiny mirror piece. Same mirror you look for. Oh, no, maybe not. That doesn't seem to be a laugh. Hmm. I'm confused. <laughs> You come to house and see yourself. I caught fish. I make you hot meal at least. My house far away. We slide there. Oh, uh, do like me. Come, watch us. Punches the tree and a leaf, a frozen leaf, falls from on top of there. And you ride it like a snowboard. Gotta follow him. <laughs> And yes, you literally have to play snowboard kids here. Woo. Let's do this! This is one of my favorite parts of the game, actually. It's so fun. Get on. And here we go. You can crouch and then release the A button to jump. And crouching will let you speed up a little bit as well. Although you can't turn while you are crouching, I don't think. Oh wait, you can. Why didn't I try that before? So I guess crouch the whole time and then just jump. <laughs> I don't know why I didn't think of trying that before, but whatever. Oh wait, there's Rupee up there. Dang it, I should have went on the upper route. I'm so sad. I could be missing stuff. <laughs> Actually, there's a much more fun part a little bit earlier. I mean, a little bit later on. Why did I say early? It's it's after I finish the next dungeon that I'm able to do the thing that relates to this, which is even more fun than this. It's pretty slow at the moment, but it gets it picks up in intensity a little bit later on. Woo! Woo! <laughs> at least when you're going to attempt to do some shortcutty shortcuts for that something that I'm talking about a little bit later. Oh! 
Did I miss another rupee? E! Oh! And he gets right on. Remember, he gets back right onto another leaf that somehow materializes out of thin air. I don't get it either. <laughs> the last segment of this uh, little run here is pretty dangerous, I have to say. And it actually threw me off quite a few times. But just take your time, you should get it. It, it had to do with me accidentally nicking the edge on a tight bridge on the way to the uh, next dungeon. You'll know it when, it when I come to it here. Oh, jeez. Double jump. Double jump. <gasps> oh, come on! Oh, wait, where, where do I start? The beginning? Are you serious? Are you serious? <sighs> Cutting time. Since I'm getting close to the area that I, you know, fell off, I should show you something here. You can swing your sword as well when you're on top of the leaf in case you have any issues with enemies or something like that. But that is usually a non-issue, or at least it is for me. I haven't had any issues at that once, so... Yeah. So here we are, coming up to the death jumps. Maybe this was the spot that gave me some trouble before. Because it kind of drifts you off to a side, and... Yeah... Like, it's kind of hard... Ooh, that was close. Because it's kind of hard to get the feel of, you know, how to jump straight when it's pushing you off to the sides and whatnot. Alright, so here we are. Getting really, really close to the ruins with the final stretch. And... Oh, wait, maybe that was the spot that gave me trouble before that made me fall off. And there we are. This is the Snow Peak Ruins. <laughs> I agree. Although it is called Ruins for a reason. But this is where I'm going to end off the part. Because I'm going to do the, you know, dungeon next part. We're in 26 minutes in the video. It's, you know, after the cuts, it's going to be like 24 minutes or so, something like that. Well, I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you in the next part.